Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas. And we are using item number 19 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, solve this problem on your own, and then unpause it and we will check our answers together. So we have a table here and it shows the numbers of puzzle pieces in four puzzles. And the biggest clue is Derek put together the two puzzles that had the greatest number. So we need to order these in order from greatest to least. And we're going to put together the two that had the greatest number of pieces. So they're already lined up here and they all have a four in the hundreds place. So when you're ordering numbers, you look to the largest place value first. They all have a four. So now we're going to go to the tens place here. And we see we have a zero, nine, one, and seven. So first is going to be the boat, because that's got a nine. And once we've got that, we don't really need to look at our ones place. And then we've got our waterfall. And the waterfall is going to be 473. And if we really wanted to, we can put it in order from garden would be third and lion would be fourth. But we don't need to because what we need to do is we need to add these two together. He put together the two puzzles that had the greatest number of pieces. And so what is the total number of just these two puzzles? And take a look at the answer choices real quick. One of them is this not here. So we might not have our answer but we'll use that as a last resort. So let's go ahead and just add these. This is a pretty simple addition problem. Once we went through that step of finding the two pieces, the puzzles we needed. So eight and three is 11. We're gonna carry that one. One and nine is 10 and seven is 17. And so I've got four and four is eight and one is nine. 971 is not here. It's really close to this one, though, so maybe I made a mistake. So when you get something like this, you might want to go back and double check your work a few different ways. So first, let's um, just use the inverse operation. If we added the opposite or the inverse is subtracting. So I'm going to take my 971 and I'm going to subtract this 473. And I should get 498. You can just take your addition problem and flip it upside down, and you have a subtraction problem. Let's see if I did that correct. So I can't do 1 minus 3. I'm going to take away a 10 from the 7, leaving 6 10s left. Break that 10 into 10 ones. Now I've got an 11 minus 3 is 8. I need to regroup again because I cannot do 6 minus 7. So I'm going to take away 100, leaving 8. Take 100, break it up into 10 tens. I've got 16 10s minus 7 tens. That's 9. And that is 498, which means my answer really is going to be D9 here. I've got one last thing I can try. This 498, I'm going to use some compensation. I'm going to add 2 because it's really close to 500. So if I add 2 to make it 500, then it makes it really easy to add this 473. That's just going to be 973. Now I need to take that 2 back away, so it's going to be 971. Yep, I keep getting this same answer. So the answer is going to be D, not here. So we know how we could have gotten the answer A. I bet you a lot of students probably chose A on this one because they figured it couldn't be not here. And 961 is close to 971, but it's not the same thing. So... It is not A, but I bet you that's a, a, ch a incorrect answer that was chosen quite a bit. Now, I know how we get B. Rather than saying the two greatest, they just took the first two. Look at this. The first two puzzles are 402 and 498. If you add those up, you're going to get 10, 10, and that's a 9. So that's where that comes from. They just didn't put them in order. And then the 861, I'm not sure where we're getting 861. 861 is like 961, it's just 100 less, but that's not it either. Either our answer is going to be D, 971, or not here. 